Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Misadventures with Mixed Media. Um, actually, can you even hear me? That microphone's like way back there now. I got some things in the mail. I had ordered this to use in some of my little golden books. It's, they don't, I wish they would show inside pages so I could see. It's not quite what I was hoping for, but I think I will dye the pages. I thought it was going to be more Disney songs, but it's like Camp Town Races, uh, Bicycle Built for Two, and yes, it's just song songs, like old songs. And then this book came bent. Can't wait to use that page somewhere. And it's a Disney song book. It's illustrated. And actually, I haven't really looked at it yet. So yeah, this one has like more Disney songs. Like I could use this one in a Snow White book. I'll do that one in a Snow White. So yeah, and I've got plenty of Disney little golden books. Like that one in a Dumbo book. Or that one in a Dumbo book. Like, so that's why I got these. And I, they were anywhere from 5 to $10. They weren't too bad. And I figured that's a lot of um, music pages for me to be able to use. And then also I had ordered these distressy type stamps and we're going to try those out today. I'm very excited. And my cousin sent me some little goodies. So we got some delightful deliveries here, which includes, um, my guy's got a mask too. So this is some vintage fabric, um, mask with Pluto on the back. For me, from my, my, my gram and my auntie B, my aunt B, just I don't want to say her full name just because she likes her privacy made for us and then my cousin's been going through her stuff since you know she's not working three jobs right now and Jen sent me some stamps and some paper so this will be fun to play with and then these little journals and I think what I'll do is I'll collage the covers and then you know add some stuff in them somewhere after that page out because one of the pages was out and we have these stamps they're all from um where are they from close to my heart is that the name of the close to my heart my acrylics some of like those pages so we have this one which is in my heart by my acrylics a C R Y L I X. That one she sent me, and a fancy, fancy one. And I should have put these out. Oh, and this one, um, it's got the flourishes and stuff. I'm gonna be playing with that one. And this one has like the. It's got a cute little some borders, some words, and the girly girl one. Giggle, let's play, best friends, go friends, girly girl friends, totally me, sister shopping, lol, precious, too cute, laugh, love, sweet, two peas in a pod, cute little daisy flowers, and lines, look, it's just lines, which will be like great on the back of journal cards, small journal cards and tags, so, I don't know if I use any of those today, but I will use the flourish ones, I'm sure. And um, of course these I will probably turn into journal cards because they're a fairly good card stock. And then she sent me this pretty charm necklace, which I think I might actually put, might, I'm gonna leave that right there. And some stickers for Halloween and Explore. And that will probably go in, what's his name? Pokey Little Puppy. And some six by six distressed kind of paper look, looking paper, which would be perfect for some collage. And then these are just more of the pages that came with the acrylics, which are a little bit heavier than that paper, even. And this pretty paper, and from a calendar from 2005. This is like a similar calendar to my friend had sent me some stuff. So that's fun and another just piece of scrap paper to play with and a bunch of little die cuts 
so that I can make little quilting squares. And just a bunch of little triangles and stuff. And let's see, what is this? Oh, that's like a, a label kind of thing that I could put on something. And put it on there. And then there's a little die cut there. And just a bunch of triangles and uh, rhombuses and what just different things and also this which is pretty and just a white circle which you know you can do that so I could use those to make like a quilting square kind of a thing if I wanted to I think that's what those are for and this might actually work nicely for a label on I don't know I'm going to use a couple of things she sent in my current journal. And I sewed together my squirrely squirrel journal. Take that off. It's got the perfect spot there for it, huh? So I sewed it together. And I haven't used a lint brush on it or anything. Um, so I did this green polka dot in the middle. Because I like polka dots and I have plenty of that one. Did a little bit of my son's denim on here and then use just this crocheted lace to for throw no rough edges and just use this piece of cream twine for the binding so i did a zigzag stitch and i made the back page longer the back cover longer so it will come up and around like that when i go like that and then you probably are interested in seeing the pages right so I did use a Tim Holtz page there because it's just got a lot of good colors like the greens and blues and reds that, that I like. And then there's the blue, go with the denim sort of. And then just a bunch of my hand dyed pages okay. that I did that I like and that I thought I'd put in here. This one's actually just a copy, but I loved what happened when I dyed that paper. It was so cool. I'm just going to go through halfway because the other half is going to be the same paper. This is kind of a, I was working with tea and I kept adding a little purple. And I added green, tea dyed, and this yellow and blue tea dyed, avocado dyed, and then that's the middle. I've been wanting to do something. I just love this. It's so pretty. And then we've got the green. It's got some peaches and reds, but it's got kind of a denim background. So I thought that would be good in the center of that. And then this just, I need to probably iron the, the seam binding. And then I might, unless I make this my, this is already on according. Oh my goodness. I wonder how wide it is. Because maybe I can use that instead. Well, it's not quite tight enough. But, let's see. So I might just go ahead and um, just put this on here somehow. But I'll figure that out later. And I might have another scroll charm I could add to that. So that is the book I've been working on this week. It's finished. It's got room, plenty of room that I could add more pages. It's like barely... It feels so empty with just, and that's just one signature. Um, if I want to do taste two signatures, I can just put another thing through here. If I can fit it through there, it's a really small. And the eyelet is just there for looks. It didn't even go through to the other side because that's really thick. I don't have eyelets that thick. And then that would be, uh, um, we have this journal is complete. So let me put it together yesterday. Oh, I, not totally complete. I need to put some pockets in the front. But I did load it up. So now you can kind of see it. Look, I had to put a squirrel in there. You know I did. So you can kind of see it all loaded up with. And this is like barely made a dent in the stamps that I have. I have so many stamps. Got some ocean stuff there. So we got some space are falling out well you're seeing earth from space that's why he's with the space some blue stamps and purple stamps some very cool triangle stamps some pink stamps love stamps a bunch of different people and then I'll put a pocket back here just to keep these in probably because I always forget I have these 
And so, I'm never going to use them if I keep forgetting I have them. Same with this stuff. It might not all go in here. This is mostly journal cards and stuff. And the circus ones are for the Dumbo little golden book. And let's see, this goes right there. So that's my ephemera book slash stamp book. So now today we're working on more layers on our ongoing very excited to get to these. And I grunged these up a lot yesterday. Like a lot, except that one. That one, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that one yet. I need something. I probably should have grunged it up. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. All right. So I need to come down this way a little bit. There we go. Oh, otherwise I'll be out of out of uh out of this out of it all day out of uh, i can talk surely i can talk right surely oh i probably should get my acrylic stamp man these are sticky like on both sides like super sticky all right i'm gonna do just some black ink stamping on most of these uh, so I want to do kids. So this is cling crun, grunge script. I wanted some grunge, so I got those. And it came with a stencil too, which I didn't even know. And it's kind of stencil I like. Um, well, we will use this stencil on something so that you can see it. In fact, where's that boring one? Or, oops, sorry, I have glue on my hand still. This one could use a little something. Let's get red and brown, and I'm thinking. What am I thinking? Anybody know what I was thinking? And I even have a blue, where did it go? There it is. All right. All right, I'm just gonna kinda do weird. Ah, I won't stay down. Why, why do you hate me? make it kind of look like there used to be a thing on there and now it's kind of faded around the edges kind of a deal so yeah that's different okay anything else I want to do blue to that already has blue that has black all right I don't know what this needs some brightening up definitely doesn't it Close this. Let's go back to what were we starting with? The squirrel. We need to do something with this sad, sad squirrel. I was gonna bring him up, and then I was gonna let's let's just use this one for now. This is our our grunt squirrel. What is it called? Scroll. Scroll flourish. this one do? Make sure I put the right side down. Mm. I kind of want to go the opposite corner as the squirrel. So I kind of want to. There we go. It's not real strong. Where's the other ones? Is this where I got this off of? Yes, it is. Just 
don't know what I'm doing. Don't know why I'm doing it like this, honestly. I can tell you. There, that's what the flower looks like. Alright, I kind of like how the stamp just sticks to my thumb though. Maybe that's my issue. Sometimes there's no rhyme or reason to what you do. Like right now, there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. Absolutely none. I really don't know what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, any of that. But that's what I did with that one. For now. This one I think I'm going to make into a tag. I had my scissors like a minute ago. Like, there they are. I told you I had my scissors. They weren't mine. done adding another layer I think I'm gonna do a, a thin layer of gesso on everything I don't know what to do with that one I don't really that one's not gonna be as grungy this one let's crackle it up do some of these words. let's see how this looks it's my ink is just not dark or if because it's the wax it just doesn't want to show up good hmm all right let's try some of this crackle wonder which way it's supposed to go wonder if there's a way all right all right this is the problem is for me to do it like this I have to hold it because the cover gets in the way Although this was a uh, an ink that I got at the thrift store. All right, definitely see some crackle back there, which is cool. I don't know if you can see it back here. Maybe that's something I want to do as the last layer. What do we think? I think on another one I'll make it the last layer. I was looking for somebody had used a peeling paint one, which I thought was really cool, and I was looking for that. Brought my um, it's just, I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna pour some gesso out here so I can get my plain gesso is a little on the thick side. the crackle a little. Like I'm noticing the crackle more. Yeah. What's happening? 
it was okay until I kept going. looking for someone who knows what they're doing you came to the wrong place so this is a background for a journal card which will is layered with all kinds of stuff and something will probably go on it I don't know what I don't know which journal I use it for um, it won't get finished this week it won't get finished until I find out where it's going I will back it with some tea dye paper most likely so that's our final layer of our background, basically, is what that is for that one. What do we want to do on this one? Oh, I wanted to see about doing the crackle on top of the gesso, right? And I don't want to go too crazy with the gesso. I just want the lines, basically, just to... Definitely went for a grunge kind of a thing going on this week. For most of these, some of them won't be as grungy. A lot of my books are not grungy, so I don't know what made me do the grunge thing. But all right, now I want to try that crackle on here. Don't want it everywhere though. I just kind of want it. Oh yeah, maybe. <clears throat> And a little bit down here. Oh, I want it to go all the way up there though. And a little bit here. Trying to just put the crackle in between where the bricks are. So now we have a journal card or pocket or whatever we decide to do it and some kind of journal. And that is where I'm leaving it for now, for this background. Nice and grungy. Next, we're still, we're still working on grunge, let's see. Oh, I might go ahead and edge those, I don't know. So for this one, where's the, is, no, that's not it. I want the. Am I driving you crazy yet? No, I want this. Okay, turn it upside right. That might be nice. Um, I'm going to do this down here. And I think I might just do a little bit of this up here. And just to annoy myself, do that right there. And then, well, that's kind of a stamp thing. Anything else I want to annoy myself with? I've already got those other words on there. Why would I do this? I don't know. Just would. I don't know why. All right. Where'd my brush go? getting my gessos a little bit on the grays. Well, if I dip it. So that ink must not be color fast. That um, the Ranger ink must not be like an archival one. So I'm getting a little bit of a gray 
All right, that will dry a little more clear um, right there. Do the edges a little bit more. Oh, yeah. I said, oh, yeah, because um, when they did the edges, the Harlequin showed up a little bit more. So that's, it's just a background. That's all that is. It's, and that black was definitely not color fast. Hmm. We might have to go to the brown. All right, what should we do with this? Did I already do, no, I don't think I did. Even though it's gonna do a weird thing with that, yeah, that black. It is just blurring everything. So all I'm getting now is this weird black background. So I'm not gonna keep using that. Except, let's see, we'll have blurry flowers on there now and crack, crackle. And all that crackle will help you understand why. And we have another, he's now a ghost, <laughs> like the other one. Eh, I don't know what will happen with that one. Those are very grungy. I grunged this one up yesterday. Let's go ahead and just so it first. I don't know if I should get my other. Because it's also on wax, and so it might not matter what I use on there. It may not be color fast just because it's ink sitting on wax. Decide what to do on there. I kind of like him how he is. Um, except I may brighten up the the flamingo. gonna have to be a shorter video today because everyone's home but I just want to make sure I got something out today right. just so starts to smell after a bit all right we definitely have to do something with this they're fine they're being quiet <laughs> they're usually oh, see it's not the wax it's the oh man well Yes, we will. This must, this stampin' up, stamp it. Black raised felt acid free dye ink pad. It's not, it's, um, it, it gets activated by water just like, um, the other ones. So, that's discouraging. So, I think the other inks didn't, because it had that wax, the wax actually probably protected that bit. I don't know. So this is a totally changed. <laughs> I don't get to do anything I thought I wanted to do today. But you know, things don't go the way you plan. Just keep going. Just don't give up. Just got layers upon layers upon layers. We had gray and brown and now white. And then we'll see what we do with, with that one. Someday. Someday I'll finish it. I don't know if it'll be this week because these are starting to get on. I'm getting tired of these. Are you getting tired of these? I'm getting tired of these. I'm glad I have those other books I've been working on that help.
So now I know that that is not an archival. I mean, it doesn't say it's archival, but it doesn't say it's a distress ink like kind of ink either. So. so that's kind of frustrating. But I don't really know a lot about the older Ranger inks. So. <sighs> But these definitely have come a long way from where they started, which was just scrap paper. Probably won't do much else to this poor little. Poor little ghost squirrel. That's it, that's all we're doing with that one. I don't know what will happen with him. He's already backed. He's gonna have to, and when I try to straighten him, it gets bent. So he's gonna have to sit under something heavy. The only thing I really want to do with this is just kind of fix my edges here, I think. I'm getting annoyed with the pounding yet. I know my voice is like, what's with all the pounding? It just is. It's just the pounding. That's all it is. So that it's almost like a pineapple on a window with pink walls, huh? All right, let's go ahead. Well, because I didn't have enough gesso on this, apparently. <laughs> this is probably the last day we'll work on these this week. You may come back to them later in May. We'll see. But we've worked with some textures and some layering and just playing around because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm clueless. So clueless. Hello. Why do you hate me? And I kind of like this one. I'm just going to leave this one. I like this one the way it is. And then I'll probably, when I'm ready to put in a book, I'll add something to it. Apologize, my video cut off, um, but you didn't miss much. I just did a little more crackle and a little more gesso. There's a lot of gesso and crackle today, so add a little bit of crackle to that one, a little bit more to that one. Yeah, somehow my um, camera got changed to internal storage. Now these orangey messed up ones may end up in a some kind of a goth or Halloween journal. I don't know, but. We'll see where these all end up. That just looks like old wallpaper. It's kind of cool. I just added a little bit of gesso to this on the edges. And just a little bit of gesso to that one. Kind of like, and I'm going to brighten up that, brighten him up. And then this one was from earlier this week when we were, when I was doing collaging. The rabbit. Added a little gesso to that one. That one is, I don't know what's going to happen with that one. And just didn't do much else to that one. Oh, and this one, I went ahead and did that stencil on it and cut it in half. So there'll be actually corner pockets. I just, it was messing with my head to have a flower in each corner for some reason. So that's it. Crazy for crackle. Lots of gesso. Let's see. Give up the gesso. <laughs> Have a delightful day, everybody. Much love.